my top seven fall favorite candles. Um, it took a lot to, <laughs> to get this down to seven. I was like, I'm gonna do five but I can't not mention these other two. So I was like, we'll just go with seven. Gives you more to choose from. Um, majority of them are from Bath and Body Works. I really wanted to get this up um, while the little candle sale they had was going on. I'm sure they're gonna have another one. They always do. Um, but I was so sick and I sounded horrible. Like, horrible. I did vlog some while I was sick. Um, that was sort of the aftermath. I didn't get like the really bad parts. <laughs> because you couldn't hardly understand me it was really old man sounding voice you know how that goes so um without further ado let's just go ahead and get into my fall favorite candles all right so we're going to start with the ones that are not bath and body works candles which are only i think two <laughs> the rest of them are bath and body works so um the first one this one is from the dollar tree and this is probably the only candle that i get from the dollar tree because um i really can't smell the other ones um, they don't give off much of a throw. They're not very strong, but I get this one every fall. Um, this one is pumpkin pie. Smells really good. It's not too strong of a pumpkin scent. Does have that cinnamon bakery scent that we all know and love. But, um, this one is, how big would I say? This is a three ounce candle. So I really do like this one. It comes in a cute little mason jar. So after it's done burning, you can always reuse these. So I really like that. The next one is a DW home candle. I mentioned this in my fall home decor tag video. I will link that above if you want to go over and watch that. Um, this is the apple cider. This is a 15.48 ounce candle. And the scent on this is absolutely amazing. It just reminds me, we went to um, Gatlinburg, Tennessee last year for our anniversary and our anniversary is October 11th. So it was around the fall and the leaves were changing and we went to all these little um, stores and this just reminds me of that. So of course I'm gonna like it, but this is one of my favorite fall scents that I've ever smelled from this brand ever. Now we're getting into the Bath and Body Works candles, which we all know is our favorites. So this year, I just picked this up um, last week, maybe. I haven't even burned it yet. But this is Cranberry Woods. First of all, look at the super cute packaging from all of their fall stuff this year. Like, it was just really cute. The lids are cute. The jars are cute. But um, I'm going to read the fragrance notes. It says tart cranberry, cinnamon bark, forest cedar, and golden amber. You guys know I love, ooh, it now says how, how, how long it burns approximately. Hmm, I see you, Bath and Body Works. But um, you guys know I love the woodsy masculine scent, but I also love the fruitiness. I'm not really, really huge on like bakery kind of scents. So all those pumpkin, pecan, waffle, you know, different stuff like that. It's, it's nice, but as far as it being one of my more lean towards scents, it's not one of my favorites. So I'm not a fan of like the vanilla type stuff, but I like the fruitier stuff. So this is so yummy. It's, uh, it does smell a lot similar to another candle that I have in this basket, um, but that one's more fruitier than this one. So this one definitely has the rustic, um, manlier scent to it because of that cedar, and I guess maybe even that golden amber. The golden amber has a real depth to that scent. But this just smells so good, I cannot wait to burn it. I know it's gonna be a maze balls. So yes. Next up is pumpkin apple. Once again, how stinking cute are the are the packaging is the packaging on this um the fragrance notes on this one is red delicious apple fall pumpkin fresh ground cinnamon and clove buds so once again it's got my fruit in it doesn't have the vanilla -y scent but it has the cinnamon that has gives it that bite and also the clove the clove is really what gives it the depth more like it gives more the gives cinnamon more depth so it's a lot stronger and more pungent that's what i really really like I struggled going back and forth because this one's not as strong as a like a spicy apple-y candle because it's got I guess the pumpkin so it's more muted but it's got the spiciness but I went back and forth between this one and another one that I can't remember but this one won over that one I just really like it. It's just a good overall scent, and I kind of feel like this scent is an easy scent to go into more stronger 
fall scents. So it's like this one can sort of start you off because it's more of the apple -y September, you know, kind of scent and it can go more into the pumpkins and stuff. So I just feel like this is a good merger candle if that makes any sense. Next up is a candle that I also talked about in the fall home decor tag and it is flannel. This is just another one of those cologne masculine type candles. Not the same as mahogany teak wood. Don't get it confused. This one is more fall appropriate. It's very cozy. Um, it's got a sweeter smell to it. The fall Let's see, the notes on the bottom says wrap yourself in a warm blend of bergamot, polished mahogany, and a soft veil of musk. You know, I love me some musk. So I just really like this one. This is the packaging from last year. This year the candle is actually red, so the packaging is red. And of course we have a red flannel blanket on the front. So um, don't be confused. It does smell the same. I made sure to smell it to make sure that the um, they didn't change anything, but definitely go smell it you'll want it you'll buy it you'll love it you'll thank me this is the one that i was saying was kind of similar to the cranberry woods and it is sun drenched vineyard um i typically buy this probably even before the fall stuff comes out i kind of feel like these are like towards the end of summer scents that they bring out and it's all the wine collection this I didn't even like any of the wine collection like i just wasn't feeling it but this one here i smelled it in how did I get it? I got one of those little car discs things you put in and I was just in like a hurry and I grabbed a bunch of different random scents and I happened to put that one in my truck and I was like, why does my truck smell so good? And I went and tried to find what the scent was <laughs> in my car because I took the packaging, the label off, so I didn't remember what it was. And I went to Bath and Body Works and smelled all of them until I found it and I bought the candle. I burnt one last year, I burned it all the way down like immediately and I never do that. So that tells you right there that I love this candle. So it is similar in the ways that it does have that fruitiness, but it also has a more feminine scent. So it's got like some rustic musk scent to it, but it also has like a simple easiness to it. That's just sort of feminine smelling. It says a full bodied blend of rich fruit, white wine grapes, and oak recalls an unforgettable day at a family-run vineyard in Sonoma. So I don't know. I don't know what makes this one so different, but it's got a, a perfumey scent, which I don't really like. So I don't know why. <laughs> it's just a sweeter masculine scent with some fruit. That's that's how we're gonna we're gonna explain it like that. So go smell this one. You're gonna love it. I love it. It doesn't smell like wine to me. I don't know. But I love this one. And lastly, I'm just gonna say this might be, might be my number one fall candle of 2016. Mainly because of the packaging. But like I said, I like the rustic, um, musky, nutty kind of scents. So when I seen this beauty, look how gorgeous this candle is. The lid's gorgeous. I had never smelled this one before. And if I have, I don't know how I did not buy it by the thousands because it is yummy. It is chestnut and clove. And the fragrance notes say, roasted chestnut, clove buds, pine, <laughs> cedarwood, and velvety moss. Y'all know, if you've been watching my candle videos from the past, you know I love the tree scents. I love them, I love them, I love them. My all-time favorite one is Fresh Balsam. That is all-time favorite, beats every candle ever in life of the world. <laughs> That one's my favorite. So this one has the pine. It's got cedar wood, moss, but it even has my clove buds. It's got chestnut. So it's got that depth that the cloves brings, like I was talking about earlier, but it has my pine tree needles and... But it's got a sweet scent, and that's why I like Fresh Balls one so much, because it's not just like a straight up really hard tree scent, like it's just you feel like you're in a forest somewhere, and you just feel like you're getting eaten up by mosquitoes. It's not that kind of scent. It's so warm and comforting. Like, I think I'm going to burn this right, yeah, right now. I don't know why I haven't already. It's just so yummy. I, you have to go, you have to go smell it. And... 
if you even if you don't burn it just look at how beautiful the packaging is but i have to say chestnut and clove is this year's top favorite fall candle go smell it guys do yourself a favor i'm just going to sit here and smell it for the rest of this video <laughs> you know just just chilling about to go burn it should have bought seven thousand of them what was i thinking <sighs> mm. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed my fall favorite candle video. If you have some of these candles, definitely comment down below which one is your favorite. Shoot, if you don't even have some of these candles, just comment down below with your favorite fall scented candle. Doesn't have to be Bath and Body Works. It can be Yankee, Walmart, Better Homes and Gardens, whatever you want it to be. Just comment down below because you know I'm obsessed and I might just have to go out there and smell them and get them for myself and give you a thanks because I just love candles and fall candles just make my life 1,272% better. <laughs> so guys, as always, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day and thanks for watching.